One of Australia's most passionate advocates for nuclear power is a 17-year-old. His name's William Shackle, he's in year 12, and he's the founder of Australia's youth-led campaign for nuclear energy, Nuclear for Australia. He's with us now. G'day, Will. Thanks for coming on Hack. Thanks for having me on. Will, do you think young people in Australia have a very different view to nuclear energy than older generations? I, I think it's it's a bit more nuanced to that because generally we're not taught about nuclear power in school. I had to stumble across it myself and I think that's an experience probably shared by many in my generation. But I think when young people learn about nuclear power, there's a great curiosity towards it. They see it as a source of power which has incredibly low carbon emissions and also is just has such high reliability. And I think that really fascinates young people, especially those who are interested in sciences. So I think compared to past generations which might have viewed nuclear through, you know, the scare campaigns and fear-mongering associated with Chernobyl and even Fukushima to a certain extent, young people are able to have a fresh perspective on nuclear power and it's why so many young people like myself are calling for the bans on nuclear power to be lifted in Australia. So Will, what about like safety aside, Mm. the concerns around the cost of setting Mm. up nuclear power, but also the time it's going to take. Because there's a lot of dispute, as we've just been hearing on Hack, there's a lot of dispute about uh, these elements of it. And a lot of experts are saying it's not possible to get it up and running within a decade. Shouldn't we be focusing everything on renewables? Look, I'm not someone who opposes renewables. I think that renewables should lead the energy transition, but that's no reason for why we shouldn't be able to consider nuclear. First of all, in terms of the cost of nuclear power reactors, Obviously, they are expensive, but that is a long-term investment in Australia's future. Nuclear power stations can last anywhere from 60 to 100 years. That is an investment that we would be making in Australia to help address our carbon emissions and increase our energy reliability and lower our power bills in the future for young people if we made that decision today. Will, what about the Coalition's plan then? You must be stoked to see that this is a massive priority. The Opposition Leader Peter Dutton's putting it out there. Uh, Was it a surprise for you? I think it is a surprise because the Coalition were in power for 10 years and they did nothing to advance the issue of nuclear power in a genuine way. We need to see people from the Labor government uh, and also from the Greens party also standing up and supporting nuclear power in agreement with their constituents because, as we know, a majority of voters from all political parties actually do support nuclear power, according to the most recent polls. So if those politicians are serious about the science and serious about listening to their constituents, then they would embrace nuclear power. And Will, I mean, those people out there who are going, well, he's still in high school. What does he know Mm. about this? Why is he out there advocating so hard? Uh, How do you cop that criticism? Mm. Because, you know, like journalists have been writing about your take on this and how strong you're pushing for nuclear power. Some saying, oh, we love the passion, but he doesn't know what he's talking about. How do you deal with that? Well, I think whenever I... This is one of the most complicated debates you could possibly enter, and I'm very, very mindful of that. And I do not believe people should take my word as gospel. But what I have done is I've reached out to experts. I'm collaborating collaborating with experts. Currently, the chair of my organisation, Nuclear for Australia, is Dr Aidy Patterson. He is probably one of the most respected experts in, in Australia when it comes to nuclear power. So I've made it my goal when... Because obviously I'm on this mission myself trying to learn about nuclear power and I've been partnering with ex- really respected experts in Australia in order to do that. So I would say don't listen to me, listen to the experts and l- learn about nuclear power for yourself because when you look to the evidence around the world, it's abundantly clear that countries which have embraced nuclear power and have had it as an option only benefit from that decision. All right, Will Shackle, thank you very much for joining us on Hack. Thanks for having me.